Hey guys, ever wondered how to easily grab Instagram posts for your market research or content strategy? You might think it's a tech heavy task, but what if I told you there's a simple way to do it using Appify and make.com? And here's the kicker. You can organize all that juicy data right into Google Sheets, making it easy as pie to analyze. Intrigued? Stick around to find out how you can pull off this nifty trick without breaking a sweat. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of our new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales, automation, and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember that everything we cover here is to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. Now, if you're new here or looking for even more ways to level up, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive make.com templates, including the one that we're using today, that you can import directly and start using immediately. We've built a whole space for learners and doers just like you, where you can ask questions, get direct help, and connect with like-minded folks who are ready to take action. And of course, you can always subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of our bi-weekly videos, live sessions, and more. Let's jump right in. So why scrape Instagram posts? Imagine having a treasure chest of Instagram data right at your fingertips. Whether you're diving into market trends or crafting a killer content strategy, this video will show you step-by-step -step how to gather and organize Instagram content seamlessly. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. All right, so scraping Instagram posts. In our first step, let's get Google Drive and Google Sheets ready. You'll want to create a new folder in Google Drive and call it Instagram Scraping. This is where all your data will live, nice and organized. Then create a new Google Sheet, which we'll name Instagram Post Scraper. In Sheet 1, add a header titled URLs and pop in the URL of an Instagram persona you want to scrape. This setup is crucial because it keeps everything tidy and makes sure you know exactly where your data is coming from. For example, if you're tracking a competitor's posts, you'll have all their info in one spot. Wondering what to do next? It's simple, add a new sheet for your data. Click that little plus button in the bottom left and name this sheet data. Set up headers like caption, comments count, display URL, and so on. For instance, if you're looking to analyze engagement, then having columns for likes count and comments count will be super helpful. Once you've got your sheets ready, it's time to introduce Appify. Appify is this awesome web scraping and automation platform that's become essential for anyone looking to automate their data extraction tasks. It's like having a Swiss army knife for scraping structured data. Plus, they give new users a $5 monthly credit, which means you can scrape over 2,000 results for free. That's like finding a $5 bill in your laundry every month. Next up, let's get you set up with an Appify account. Head over to the Appify website and either create a new account or log in if you're already a part of the club. It's all pretty straightforward, just like signing up for any other online service. And hey, if you're like me and you forget all your passwords, make sure to write it down somewhere. Next, we're going to navigate the Appify store. Look to the left navigation bar and click on the store page. Once you're in, you'll see a bunch of actors available for different tasks. It's like Tinder for data nerds. Swipe right for your perfect actor. Then let's find the Instagram scraper. Use the search bar at the top and type in Instagram scraper. You'll want to select the one by Appify. Once you found it, take a moment to review the documentation and pricing. It's $2.30 for 1,000 results, but remember that $5 credit you're getting. You get to scrape over 2,000 results for free. Now it's time to configure the Instagram scraper. You'll need to input the Instagram URLs you want to scrape. Decide if you want to stick with Appify settings or customize them. You can choose to scrape posts, comments, profiles, hashtags, places, or just go all out and grab everything. If you don't pick anything specific, it'll just collect all the data it can find. It's like letting a kid loose in a candy store. Everything's fair game. Finally, we need to run the scraper because let's face it, getting the data is the whole point of what we're doing here. Click on save and start to kick off the scraping process. It'll take a few minutes, so maybe grab a coffee or I don't know, 
do a quick dance while you wait, whatever you want. Don't worry if it takes a bit. Once the scraping is done, you've got your hands on a spreadsheet filled with all the post data for the users or topics you specified. But before you move on, take a moment to double check everything for accuracy and completeness. If something looks off, it's better to fix it now than to realize later that you missed something important. All right, let's get started with automating the whole process using make.com. First up, sign up and log into make.com and head over to the scenarios page. This is where the magic happens, guys. Think of this as your digital playground where you can set up all sorts of automated workflows. Now in the scenarios page, click on create a new scenario. This is your blank canvas ready for you to paint your automation masterpiece. Next in the module search bar, type in Google Sheets and add the action search rows. This is crucial because it allows you to pull data from your Google Sheets, which is where you'll be storing all those juicy Instagram post details. If you haven't connected your Google Sheets yet, click the add button to sign in with your Google account. This step is like giving make.com the keys to your Google kingdom, allowing it to fetch the data that you need. Once connected, configure the Google Sheets module by selecting the Instagram Post Scraper spreadsheet and setting the sheet name to sheet one. Now click the OK button to save your settings. Wondering how to scrape Instagram posts? Click the plus button to add the new module and search for Appify and select the run and actor action. This is where the real scraping begins. Now let's connect Appify. If you haven't done so yet, click add and provide an API token. You can grab this token from the APIs and integrations page on Appify. It's like handing over a VIP pass, granting make.com access to Appify's powerful scraping tools. Next, configure the Appify module by searching for Instagram scraper by Appify in the actor dropdown and setting run synchronously to yes. This ensures that your scraping process runs smoothly and efficiently, like a well-oiled machine. Now we need to add a JSON input to our module. To do so, go back to Appify and access the actors page via the left navigation bar. In the actors page, select the Instagram scraper actor or the Instagram scraper, click the little JSON button, select all of the code inside and copy it. This JSON code is like the secret recipe for your scraping success. Now in the input JSON field, paste the copied instructions by right-clicking your mouse and clicking on paste and match style in the dropdown. Once the JSON is set, replace the direct URLs with the output from the Google Sheets module. This step is like customizing your recipe to suit your taste, ensuring you get the exact data you need. Next, we need to get all the results from Appify once it's finished scraping. Click the plus sign to add a new module. Search for Appify and select the Get Dataset Items action. This is where you retrieve all the results of your scraping efforts. Think of it like opening a treasure chest to see all the Instagram posts you've collected. Then configure the dataset retrieval by setting the default dataset ID from the first Appify module and setting the limit field to the desired number of results. This is like setting the parameters for your treasure hunt, ensuring you get just the right amount of data. Now let's test the automation by clicking run once. This is the moment of truth guys, where you see if all of your hard work pays off. It's like hitting the play button on a movie you've been eagerly waiting to watch. Finally, check the output from the second Appify module to verify that all the desired posts are scraped successfully. If everything looks good, you're ready to move forward and plan to transfer your results into Google Sheets. So let's set up a Google Sheets for Instagram post scraping. First, you'll want to add a new module in make.com. To do this again, click the plus button and in the module search bar, type in Google Sheets. Once you find it, select the add a rose action. This is basically telling make.com, hey, every time I scrape some Instagram posts, I want you to organize the details neatly in my spreadsheet. Now let's configure the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet ID field, search for the file you set up earlier called Instagram post scraper. Double check you've got the right one because trust me, if you pick the wrong sheet, you'll be scratching your head wondering where the data went. Next, type data in the sheet name field. And here's the fun part, mapping the Appify outputs to your Google Sheets columns. 
First, take a look at all the headers in the data sheet. These are like the labels on your pantry jars. They tell you exactly where everything goes. Start mapping Appify's outputs to match. For the caption column, map the caption data you scraped. For the comments count, connect it to the comments count output from Appify. Got a column for display URL? Map the corresponding URL data to it. Don't forget about first comment. Make sure each Appify output has a matching column. It's like assigning seats at a wedding. Everything should be in the right spot or it gets awkward fast. Once everything is mapped, click Run Once to test it. This part is exciting. Watch as the automation does its thing. If all goes well, in a few minutes, your scraped Instagram data will appear in the Google Sheet like magic. If something's off, don't panic. It usually just means a mapping needs a quick tweak. Now that the data is flowing, it's time to put it to work. Let's make sense out of this data using Google Sheets filters. Open the data spreadsheet and click the top left cell to select everything. Yes, just like Control-A for the pros. Next, click on the Create a Filter icon. Filters let you sort and analyze the data like a boss. For example, you can filter the likes count to find the most popular posts or filter by video URLs to zero in on video content. It's like having x-ray vision for your data. Super handy. And that's it. You've just mastered the art of scraping Instagram posts like a pro. Whether you're diving into market research or crafting a killer content strategy, you now have a powerful tool at your fingertips. If you run into any issues or need any more help, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to assist. If you found this video even a little bit helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more easy to follow automation tips. And if you're serious about taking your automation game to the next level, check out our school community. It's linked below and inside you'll find exclusive templates resources, and a supportive group of like-minded people ready to help you succeed. Plus, the exact template that we use today is in there, so don't miss it. Oh, and before you click away, here's a video you'll probably want to watch next. It's packed with even more tips to help you crush it with your automations. See you there.